Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of a playlist on an introduction to quantum field theory. In this video, we will be talking about how to derive the klein gordon equation from the free scalar field Lagrangian. So let's begin. Now, if you can recall, the Lagrangian is the integral of what we call the Lagrangian density. And the Lagrangian is a functional that gives us equations of motion. Now, what I just said shouldn't be new to you guys. If it is new to you guys, I recommend watching my video on an introduction to Lagrangian mechanics. So what we care about is really the Lagrangian density. And here is the Lagrangian density for a free scalar, scalar field. We usually call this the um, kinetic term. And we usually call this the mass term, by the way. And we'd plug in the Lagrangian for a free scalar field into the order Lagrange equations, and that should churn out the Klein Gordon equation. So let's start. So, what we should do first is take the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to our scalar field phi. Okay, so, and the Lagrangian is this, so this is just one half times partial mu phi. Uh, also, just to mention, you guys should already um, know relativity and introductory quantum mechanics prior to this video. So if anything seems off or like new, it, it might be because you guys don't have the full uh, prerequisites. But if you do have the full prerequisites, uh, this video should, shouldn't be too hard to follow. So we should plug in, in the Lagrangian here. Okay, now what, what we can do is we can move the one half to the front of the derivative since one half is a constant. So we have one half times partial over partial, partial mu phi of partial mu phi, partial uppercase mu phi minus m squared phi squared. All right, also for this, for this video, we will we'll be using the mostly minus sign convention for the metric. All right, so we are in, so we are taking the partial derivative with, with respect to partial mu phi. There's no partial mu phi term here. So this, deriv so this um, once you validate with this, with this partial derivative, uh, the, it, it, it becomes zero. Well, what about this one? This one. Well, here we do have a partial mu phi. In fact, it's repeated twice. Partial mu phi, partial mu phi. So this, it's, it's, it's sort of like partial mu phi squared. So the derivative of that would be two partial b yes two partial mu phi that would be the derivative of that and this two would cancel out with this two over here so our answer is partial mu phi all right. So now we have to find uh, the partial derivative of the Lagrangian density with, re with respect to phi. Now I accidentally wrote um, you know, the normal L for the Lagrangian density, but it should be the, the curly L. So this is the Lagrangian density, just wrote a normal L on accident. So, so the, to, calculate the, to calculate this, we just take the partial derivative with, with respect to phi, this density. Just plugging it in, partial mu phi, partial mu phi minus m squared phi squared. We then move the one half to the front. Uh, we have one half, okay, move it up a tiny bit. We have one half of partial over partial phi of partial mu phi, partial mu phi minus m squared phi squared. So this is really with, 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 with respect to phi. There's no phi term here, just derivatives of phi. So this goes to zero once you value with this derivative. And we have a phi term here. So this, so this is going to be two, two times this, and this is raised to the first power. The two will cross cancel with the two over here. And we are going to have minus m squared phi for, for partial of the, the ground density with, with respect to phi. So this term is minus m squared phi. 
and this entire term. Well, well, we calculated what this part was, but we have to um, apply this mu here. So remember that the that this part was partial mu phi. So we just apply that mu. You have partial mu, partial mu phi. So we have partial mu, partial mu phi minus um, minus m squared phi or plus m squared phi. And now so we have partial mu, partial mu phi plus m squared phi, and that's going to be equal to zero. Right. We can actually factor out. Sorry, let me just up a tad bit. We can actually just factor out the phi, and we have our, 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 our Klein-Gordon equation. So that is how you derive it from the Lagrangian density. The, the Klein-Gordon equation describes the free scalar field of a spinless, well, a spin zero particle. Um, and we will be solving this equation in the next video of, on QFT. Hope you guys have a great day and stay safe. Bye.